Yo, yo, yo. Shorty here for Ask Shorty segment. Hope you are, you hope you guys are killing it this week. It is Friday. It is a long weekend in Sydney town. Uh, the footy finals are on. It is all happening. You guys have got some awesome plans happening over this weekend. So uh, looking forward to hearing how they all go and how they are successful and uh, how much fun is going to be out there for this uh, upcoming long weekend. So what are your plans? Uh, what are your thoughts? What, what, what's happening for you over this long weekend? So this is a segment of, uh, of Ask Shorty of uh, some, some questions that have come through throughout the week. But before we get into that, do you have a question that you want answered? I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts. I'd love to hear what have you got that you might go, you know what, if I could just ask James that or Shorty that, I'd be, yeah, and to get some clarity around that, that would be amazing. So before we get into, there's two things I want to be discussing today. There's, before I get in, I want to share with you some of the wins that the tribe has had this week. You know, I think it's really important. Um, I'm obviously talking to a lot of you throughout the week, um, so it's really important to acknowledge you guys of some huge wins. I'm going to run through it, and just when I was reviewing this, it's like, wow, it's been a huge week within the tribe, like some, some huge stuff. So... Uh, let's go through. So, uh, huge congrats for, for Rami mapping out his, his team onboarding journey, um, taking the notes into some frameworks, into some uh, some context, into some how we're going to map it all out, putting the videos together in a presentation, and he's sequenced that. So, awesome work, dude. Uh, Matt, with the uh, the amazing podcast that we did interview the other day, um, that was fun. That was cool. So, I uh, had some, some great times there. So, if you want to be interviewed, let me know. Happy to get the golden mic out with you. Um, for Danny, for, for smashing with her upcoming app development, she's on track and uh, hitting that out of the park. Uh, for Catherine, conquering the 30K hike for her birthday uh, earlier in the week. So happy birthday and well done for that. Uh, Christian T celebrating his also his birthday and uh, signed up some huge speaking gigs, which was huge. Um, some new clients that have come on board for him and also some new opportunities to generate some more uh, workflow for, for new intern program that he's got going as well. So that's been huge. Uh, Jeff uh, outlining his strategy plan and working through his avatars, which was great. Um, Daniel for understanding, Daniel Kesha for understanding the power of teams and, and the impact of self awareness they can have within the team. Boom. Uh, for Di, Craig, and Arthur having an awesome advisor, advisor board meeting we had the other day, which I was. I was chairman on, and uh, these guys are killing it. Uh, for Joe, for killing it in the new garden work that's coming through his pipeline. It's uh, spring has sprung, and the garden work is all happening out there. For Daniel Linders, pumped for his uh, presentation that we mapped out at his upcoming conference. Um, so he's super excited about that. Uh, Christian and Justin, uh, dude, these guys are on fire with some of the big deals that are coming through their pipeline, which is exciting. Uh, Neely's uh, Fizos are going crazy at the moment with uh, new opportunities coming through his uh, his pipeline. So it is all happening. That's just in one week in the tribe. So question, here we go. Uh, so first thing, well done, guys, for a huge week. So questions. Two questions that came through my desk uh, the during the week. The first question I've got, I've got a new email. I sent out an email to, to a few people to, throughout the week, and I got an email back saying, James, why are you so happy all the time? I went, hmm, that's a really good question. And I was thought about that, and I thought, okay, how am I going to respond to that on email? And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to say it how it is. And I believe any emotion, even though it could be roller coaster is direct correlation and you've got control over those emotions. Now, you know, sometimes we have some devastating stuff that happens to us, but it's how we respond will show us how our true character is. Yeah, sometimes it's, we feel sad and it's okay to feel sad. Sometimes it's feel frustrated or angry or, or whatever, and that's okay to feel those ways. But I think, this is a personal opinion, we have a choice on how we want to feel. So we have a personal choice of how we want to take in a certain situation, how we want to interpret that, how we want to really think about how this is going to impact me, impact the, the people around around you. So the question is, is, is how are you interpreting those, those responses? How are you interpreting those things that are happening around you? And I, and I responded back to this person of, you know what? It's a choice. It's a choice for me being happy. It's a choice for me being sad. It's a, it's a choice for me having the, the shits, right? 
So what are you choosing? You know, the question back to you is, is how are you are managing your emotions? How are you managing your state, right? Getting to the, the, the appropriate state. Because, you know, we've got so much to be grateful for. We have so much. We are living in one of the best nations in the world. You know, there's some, some, some great opportunities out there. Yeah, markets are changing. Sometimes things are tough. But it's how we look at those things. It's how we look at those things. Some businesses are skyrocketing. Some businesses are about to close their doors. But it's how we perceive and how we are grateful for those situations in life. And there's lots to be happy for. Hey, you know, stop and smell the roses. And I was talking to someone throughout the day. It's like, dude, you need to just stop and look at where, how far you've come from. Look at it, what you've actually achieved. And, you know, yes, is there more to come? Totally. But acknowledge your journey. Acknowledge and be grateful for what you've achieved along the way. That, my friends, will make you happy. When we become from the space of grateful, when we're, when, we're, when we're happy within ourselves, fear's gone, the anger's gone. So there's, there's a, the answer of, of being happy. It's a choice. Choose to be happy. Yeah, choose to be happy. The second component is that is, is around accountability. And I want to share a little story with you. We had a, and I'm not going to, obviously, there's no names, name calling, but I had someone say, you know, James, I just want to be held accountable. I said, okay, great. <clears throat> Excuse me. I said, what does that mean to you? I said, well, you know what? I've got activity that I need to do, and I want you to just to be, you know, hold me accountable and call me every day, making sure I've, I've done it. Okay, great. And so what, what, what are you, how are you going to respond back? He said, well, I'm going to commit to do the activity, and then we'll, we'll talk every day and, and, and review. I said, great. So what we did, we, we set that plan out. And first day went, called, no answer. Text. No answer. Second day, called, text, no answer. Third day, called, text, no answer. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm willing to play this game, but the person who I was calling didn't want to play the game either. And so when we, it's a really good, in, good topic is, is accountability. What does actually accountability mean to you? We all have the different perceptions of, oh, you know, I want to be held accountable. Great. But what are you prepared to do in order to make that happen? Because you can have the text messages, can have the phone calls, can have the reminders. But if you're not going to step up to the plate, if you're not going to play that game, then really accountability is about the person in the mirror. Accountability is about you stepping up, about you wanting to play that bigger game. Because at the end of the day, yeah, I've got a size nine and a half shoe, but it's what you bring to the table. You know, I've done some crazy races out there and I'm, I can run as fast or as slow as, as people want. But if, if you want to be accountable, well, we've got to step up. 30 day challenge is a great example. People go, yeah, the 30 day challenge, let's go. But what are you doing? What's your accountability? So I want to hear from you. What does accountability mean to you? And what would you prepare to put in, in order to receive? Because it's a two-way street. What you put in, you shall receive. So, mm, some DM stuff today around Ask Shorty. Love it. I love it. I love rolling the sleeves up and go, you know what? Let's have a little good look in the mirror. And let's look at those emotions, those feelings. How are you being happy? How are you embracing? How are you being grateful for throughout the day? And accountability. What does it really mean to you? What's that accountability? You know, we, we've got these goals that we want to achieve. We've got these fantastic, you know, things that we want to do, to become more of, to do and to have throughout our life. And obviously, goal achievement, as I mentioned to you before, is, is a pretty easy formula. It's positive activity compounded over time. Boom. That's the recipe for success. But what happens, we get our cells in the way from achieving that. And we have these shiny balls or we have these excuses of we have these, I don't have enough time. <clears throat> right? We do have enough time. We have 86,000 seconds every single day. But it's the matter of where your focus goes through those 86,000 seconds. So call it how it is. Here to help. Here to match what you want to match. Well, let's get out there and let's have some fun. Let's be grateful for for what you've created so far. Let's be grateful for where you are today and let's be grateful for what you're about to create even more. Let's set our sights high. Let's play the game and let's get out there and have some fun. 
Ask Shorty, want to hear your thoughts, want to hear your questions. What do you have for me this coming week? Have a wonderful long weekend and uh, really excited to, to hear your thoughts. So there we go, guys. Enjoy and looking forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now.